Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75 and we're back again with another Transformers review. Uh, for this one I thought I'd do another Action Masters review and seeing as I just recently uploaded my Hunt for the Decepticons Axel review, I thought I'd do the inspiration for that figure, and which is of course the Generation 1 Action Masters AXA figure. And I remember when I get, let me just uh, do something about the light, hold on one second, I think that should be a little bit better. Um, yeah, I remember when I first picked this up, um, I remember, because obviously I picked this up in the box obviously, um, I didn't have it when I was a kid but this is one of the first ones I got when I first started collecting again back in about 1994 roughly. Um, I looked at the box and I, let me just mine the figure out of the way, because I love the artwork for the box. I'll tell you something, a lot of people don't like these action masters but I'll tell you what, the artwork we got on the boxes was absolutely brilliant, I loved it. And I remember seeing it and I thinking, wow, this looks a pretty damn cool one. He's got a nice little motorbike and everything. It's going to look fucking shit up. Um, unfortunately, it was a bit of a letdown. And we're going to show you this now. This is the actual Action Master Axer with his motorcycle and sidecar playset, if you will. Um, of course, Action Masters themselves don't transform. So the items they came with, albeit... The smaller ones like Blaster and what have you came with a little little figure that transformed into a weapon, whereas these of the next step up, these ones had a smaller little playset that would transform between a vehicle and a some sort of battle station. And then obviously we've got larger up to like Optimus Prime, which I've already reviewed some time ago. Uh, so this is Axel, here's a Decepticon of course. And uh, I do have a few problems with this actual figure in this mode. Um, one of the main ones is his hands don't actually fit on the handlebars. Let me just raise this up a little bit. He's fallen off. Uh, his hands don't actually fit on the handlebars together. As you can see, with that one on, the other hand is nowhere near it. I think that is a major design flaw. Uh, I can't understand why, why they did that. And he doesn't actually sit on his motorbike that easy. But... Other than that, it's only got one other flaw, which I'll come to in a second. Let me just show you the actual Action Master figure. This is Axa, and he does he is quite poseable, though nowhere near as poseable as today's figures, obviously. But back then, this was supposedly super poseable. Um, and it's not a bad little figure. It's about what? It's about four inches tall, something like that. Maybe four or five. No, about four inches, probably. And he's got the usual articulation for an Action Master figure. Incredibly detailed, I'll give him that. And if you look closely at the, especially the main body sculpt, this is where you can see they got the inspiration to repaint, what was it, um, Revenge of the Fallen Lockdown into this guy. Because the front of his car, that he obviously transformed into car when he could transform, looks exactly almost, well, not most, that's exactly, I suppose, but definitely a lot like the front of Lockdown's vehicle mode. So you could see why they just changed the head to a strange, like, uh, Transformers movie style version of this guy and I think it's one of those redecos that worked really really well um, so that is AXA the Action Master and so let's move on to his playset because that is the main feature of these this one so he's a motorcycle and he has um, on, on this, this side, side he has a gun which is removable um, and he does have some exhaust uh, just around here, he does have another seat, this is removable, and on this side he has his sidecar and he has a couple of missiles that attach to the front wheel. The biggest problem I have with this, um, other than AXA not particularly fitting on it too well in this mode, is that the front wheel doesn't actually turn, it's just got a tiny, tiny little wheel down there for you to play with. The, the rear wheel does turn, which is okay, and the sidecar does have a little movable wheel. Um, but as a motorcycle, it really does lack something because the front wheel doesn't turn. Um, other than that, in this mode, you can flip down this, and much like the picture where you've got sound wave hanging off the side of him, he does have a little post just there so you can fit another action master on the side so he can give a lift to one of his mates or something. Um, but that is about it. You can detach the sidecar, and then you've got a cool little scrambler motorbike. Um, again, if that front wheel had turned, this would have been damn cool. Uh, it does have a little gimmick. If There's a little button in here, mainly for the transformation. As you can see, with a lot of the poses, if I can bring this one just down for a second, mind him out of the way, uh, they usually have the exhaust, let me just point it to a bit better, pointing forward in most modes, um, as a couple of extra guns, but I don't like that too much myself. But, as a little motorbike, it's not too bad. Um, I believe 
Prowl, Action Master Prowl, has a better motorcycle mode, if you want my opinion. Um, but this one just looks cool. Uh, right, so let's transform this very quickly. It's quite easy, really. We're just going to take that off the back there. And then we're going to take these little missile pods off the wheel. And now this is where, for me, it, it loses something. Uh, you have to split the front wheel. This is obviously why it never doesn't turn. Split that out. Push the little button. They'll flip round. And then with the back wheel, you turn it out. And then you turn it. Uh, I think it's actually you turn it this way. It's becoming a little bit annoying. Uh, that goes down like that. That is what it's going to sit on. That now goes into this post under there. Sorry, little hole for the post. There it is, and that will fit in nicely under there. And that will now stand like that, which is okay as a little base goes. But then you've got to start adding this gun will now fit into Axe's hand as his main weapon. There we go, so we're going to stand him back up over there. Uh, the little side cart again will now flip this down. And now these missiles you can either put in here, which is what it says the instructions to do, because they'll fit in there nicely, or you can just put one in the three little holes that are in there like that, if you wanted to. Um, I don't know which I prefer. But anyway, now this is where you're supposed to reattach the sidecar, and unfortunately it hangs off the ground, and so what happens is, is it tips to one side. Um, if I spin the box around, I don't think you're going to be able to see it too well. Where is it? If I come round to this here, just might axe around right the way for a second again. It definitely shows the picture where it sort of stands up pretty well, but then again, it's a what's the word? A prototype that's always on the boxes. Uh, and so, uh, I, I, I mean, I'm pretty certain I've got it exactly how it should be, but it's just miles too much off the floor. But there we go. I mean, it's will sort of stand up, not too well, but it becomes very annoying. Um, but that's it for his battle station mode. It's okay. Not not the great, not my favourite. Um, as you can see, the sticker is coming off here. I need to redo that. Um, not one of the best, unfortunately. It should be good. But unfortunately, it's not. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really, because this doesn't really... I know a lot of people don't like Action Masters, and I can see why, and I got I hated them at the time, but as a collector's piece, they're actually pretty cool, some of them. But this one isn't. I mean, if you're going to display it, just display it in its bike mode, because that's where it at least looks half decent. This, unfortunately, doesn't look a lot of anything, really. Uh, probably one of the weaker battle station modes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.